Well, there's a lot of word going around about Charlie Cox's Daredevil returning to the MCU. The long-rumored appearance in Spider-Man No Way Home has brought on hordes of speculation, so I thought we maybe could take a couple of minutes to talk about all the possible places Daredevil might appear in the MCU moving forward. The character and the actor are fan favorites, so clearly Marvel has big plans. Now, before we dive in though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, the massive giveaway. We got this PlayStation 5 to give away at 25,000 subscribers. All you need to do to get in on our giveaway is be a subscriber and leave us a comment. Also, while you're at it, check out that free week of Skillshare down below. It's a spectacular way for you to develop all of your superhero skills for that never-ending war on crime. All by not diving too deep into your pockets. Plus, it really does help the channel, so we really appreciate it. Well, after almost a full year of speculation that Charlie Cox could return to the role of Matt Murdock in Spider-Man No Way Home, the film finally released and we got some confirmation of that character's existence. Combined with the return of the Kingpin in the Hawkeye series, clearly that thread of the Marvel Universe has some sort of future moving forward. Now, officially, from Marvel, there has been no more announcements on where we can expect to see Charlie Cox moving forward. But there is lots of conversation online about the character, and I thought maybe we could talk about some of the places I think he could appear. Now, there are four, maybe five pretty obvious places we could see Matt Murdock again. First and foremost, I have to think we might actually see him in She-Hulk. Both Matt Murdock and Jennifer Walters are lawyers, and we've been teased with some appearances in this show by Kevin Feige himself. This is a very likely place to see Matt Murdock. It works very well for him because it's set in New York City, and we could see several cases involving other superpowered beings, which could draw both Matt and Jennifer together in this series. Also, the team at Murphy's Multiverse actually did a report on this, and they talked about how Matt and Jennifer will be, and I quote, facing off in a court case involving a superhero Taylor. I really think this might be Melvin Potter, who we saw at the end of Season 3 of Daredevil, was back in a bit of trouble, and I could totally see Matt Murdock trying to help him out. This has also led to some speculation that we could see Matt Murdock suit up in the classic yellow costume from the comic books. I'm unsure how this translates to the big screen, but I totally could see Marvel Studios making that move. Now there are a couple other places we possibly could see Matt Murdock show up. We're not too far out from Oscar Isaac's Moon Knight, and although I'm not sure how he would fit into that story, I could see Matt making a cameo there. I find this a little more difficult though, they're going to be introducing a lot of characters and mythology in that series, so to shoehorn Matt Murdock's Daredevil in there might be a bit too much. One of the other places Matt might show up is in Ironheart. We know both Ironheart and Iron Wars will deal with some of the Stark issues and the rights to Tony Stark's technology. This could be an interesting place for Matt Murdock's persona to show up in a legal aspect of it all, but I'm not too sure exactly how he would fit into the story itself. Now, the series, though, I do think we're very, very likely to see Matt make a return in would be Echo. Actually, to me, I believe Echo will serve as the vehicle to see a lot of these Daredevil characters make a return. Echo is not a very big Marvel character in comparison to everybody else getting a series, so there had to be a pretty good reason for the character to draw her own series, and although she was pretty great in the Hawkeye series, I'm not so sure it demanded her own spinoff. Actually, this whole series will probably be built around her character and Wilson Fisk, leading to a nice segue with Daredevil. I could totally see not just Matt Murdock returning, but Karen Page, as well as Foggy Nelson coming back, and those have been rumored returns, although we have no confirmation. There's also the possibility of him showing up in the next Spider-Man movie, but that is in the early planning stages, and it's unlikely we'll have to wait that long before we see Matt Murdock once again. And finally, what would be the most obvious would be for the man without fear to get his own Disney Plus series. I think this might be something going on after the Echo series, once Marvel has had a chance to reintroduce the character. And again, it's pure speculation. Marvel has announced nothing, but to me, it does make the most sense for the character to reappear about that time. Now, Marvel did not stick him in Spider-Man No Way Home for a one-shot cameo and done. And fans love Charlie Cox. They've been talking about his return for years. And apparently, Marvel has been talking to Charlie Cox about his return for years. So there are plans in place. We're just not in the loop yet. What do you guys think? Where do you think Matt Murdock's Daredevil makes his next appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? And how do you feel about the possibilities of the yellow costume being the MCU version of the character? I would love to see the yellow costume come to life, but just for a little while. 
sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not getting any updates. Peace.